think the key thing is to understand that people go on a, a journey when it comes to retirement matters, um, right from the early part of their career when actually they need to be thinking about contributions into pensions, but that can be quite difficult because there will be other calls on their, on their, on their monthly budget. So how does that all get managed? Um, it then moves into a stage where somebody might have been working for a number of years, but clearly has still a number of years to run. So actually, where are they with their pensions? How much have they saved? Are, are, are they on track? You then get to a point what I would call pre-retirement. So when somebody gets to about age 50, so still too early to retire, but they should start understanding what their options are and start planning for their retirement, albeit that might be 10, 15 years away. They then get to a point of retirement. So at that point, it's really important to understand, do they understand their op options? Do they understand how they're gonna generate income in retirement and then finally actually when they're in retirement for a lot of people now they will stay invested um, but they need to draw an income and then they need to draw that income for 25 years in retirement so how are they going to achieve that so that whole life journey is really important for employees of organizations to understand i think the key thing is is, is, is about how information can be delivered and making sure that they have the mechanisms in place to do that. So I'll break that down into three areas. So firstly, financial education, which might be delivered through seminars, either virtual or real, could be delivered through video, animation, tools, even things like chatbots, which allow people to get information at those key, st key stages of that journey so they get the relevant information at the right time. For some, as a follow-up to that, they will actually want to talk to somebody. So some sort of helpline is a useful thing to have in, have in place. And then finally, some people will want regulated advice. Now that's much more likely to be at the point of retirement, but it is important to have that provision in place. 